We are going to talk problem solving today in Lesson 2.9. Alright, let's unlock this baby. It says, at the sea park, one section in the stadium has nine rows with 18 seats in each row. In the center of each of the first six rows, eight seats are in the splash zone. How many seats are not in the splash zone? Okay, alright. What do we need to find? We need to find, what do we need to find? How, the number of go back up here really quick. How many seats are not in the splash zone? So here we want to make sure we write not in the splash zone. I shouldn't have done it because I'm going to move it down here. Alright. There. Let's lasso this. Like, no, I don't need to take a picture. This one. Not in the splash zone. Okay, what information do we need to know? Alright, there are nine rows with. Nine rows with. 18 seats. And there are six rows with. Eight seats. Okay? We're on a roll. How will we use this information? I can... What am I going to do to find out all these seats? Well, we should know that that is... We are going to... I'm going to switch this because that one's kind of big. We are going to... Multiply. So we're going to multiply our two numbers, and then we're going to subtract. All right, so let's clear this stuff out of here, like this. And then, let's look right over here. All right, so we're going to multiply. I will draw a diagram to show each section of the 9 by 18 seats. So if we look here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's 18 seats there, so there's the rows. Okay? And here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 and 18. That's where this comes from right here. That's the total number. That's the total number of seats in the aquatic stadium. Okay? So if we do 18 times 9... That's 72, carry the 7, 9 times 1 is 9, plus 7 is 162. Okay, so now, remember it told us that uh, there is 6 rows, so here they're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 6 again. So this, guys, is our splash zone, yeah! So if we take eight times six, well that should be one of our one of our easy ones. So now we have forty-eight seats are in the special selection. Are we done? Are we done? No, because we need to find out how many are in not in the splash zone. So this is how many we have total. And this is how many are in the splash zone. So what do we need to do? If you said subtract, you are exactly right. If we take 162 and we take away 48, we are going to get 114. So what else do we need to do? We need to subtract the total number of seats by the splash zone to end up with our total number of 114 seats are not in the splash zone. All right. Let's try one more of these. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller so we can kind of work. All right. At the sea park, one section of the Shark Theater has eight t has eight rows with fourteen seats. Okay. 
In the middle section, there are four rows of six seats. How many seats are not reserved? Okay, so the first thing here says what we need to find. This one tells us right here. How many seats are not reserved? It's mm, close enough. Okay, good. What information are we going to use? Okay, the information that we are going to use is. I wish I could make this just there. That should work. All right. All right. What information are we going to use? The stadium has eight rows. And each row has 14 seats. Okay. We also know that the reserve seats, so this is total seats. We also know that there are four rows of six seats that are reserves. So we're going to put an RS. So we have seats and reserve seats. How are we going to use this information? Well, we need to multiply We're going to need to multiply and then we're going to need to subtract again. Okay? So if we look at this 8 by 14, if we wanted to draw that little diagram here Let's make a box that looks like this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's our eight rows, and we're going to have fourteen. One. Not easy to do with the mouse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. So there's our fourteen. So we know that eight by fourteen. Well, we're gonna do this the easy way, and we're gonna say fourteen times eight. Alright. So if we do it this way, we can say 8 times 4 is 32. I'll put my 3 up here and I get 8 times 1 is 8, 9, 10, 11. 112 total seats. Okay, so now in the middle we have 4 rows. So let's make this 6 seats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if we're going to do that the easy way, we're going to just go four times six. That should be a quick one. Twenty-four reserve seats. So we're going to do the same thing we did up above. We are going to take one hundred and twelve, and we are going to take away. 24. Well, I can't do that, so I'm going to add a 0 here. I get an 8. I can't take 2 away from 0, so I'm going to go next door and borrow. 10 take away 8 is 88. So we know, ladies and gentlemen, that... I'm going to delete this off quick. We know that... We know that... Oop, let me get this. How did your diagram help you solve the problem? We 
can count boxes. Let's just say it shows that 88 seats are not reserved. Okay? Pretty, pretty easy. All right? Have a good rest of your day.